I need more storage space. Everything is packed away so tight. There's literally no room to work. What I'm trying to do here, I haven't started this old Cockshot 40 in uh, I don't know how many years. I'm gonna say minimum two, possibly three, maybe even four. So I don't know, it may not even start. I had to borrow a battery out of the Mercury. It's the only six volt battery left on the farm. And I really don't trust these battery straps. This one is marked NDG. It seems to be holding. Come on. Yeah, I wrapped it in plastic because it's one of those leakers that uh, I figured I don't want the battery acid to eat a hole in a $50 pair of coveralls. So that'll protect it a little bit. Anyway, it's your basic, oh, nice battery brush. Your basic uh, clean up your battery posts and uh, cable ends. There is gas in the tank. Well, at least there was when I put it here. The shutoff valve has been closed to the carburetor, so hopefully it's been not leaking too badly. The only thing I question is the uh, ignition points what is this here? Okay, so we're positive ground. There we go. And we're gonna need a a wrench. I don't know why it is. Some of these batteries leak. Acid seeps out of the top. Makes a real mess. <laughs> Bit of a loose fit there. That one looks good. That's the one to the solenoid. Okay, what are the chances? Yeah, pretty much zero. But I might have a wrench in there to fit and save the long laborious trip back to the other end of the shed. Yeah, the wrench in there, but way too big. Here. Again, got the same size wrench. Wrong size. All right. Okay, the cable should be tight. Let's see if we got power. Oh, we got lights. It's a good sign. Okay, way underneath the tank is the shut off valve which I will open I guess it would be smart to look in the tank and see if there is actually gas in it okay what do we have I don't know but it looks to me like the tank is empty okay that means another trip so to be continued. Okay, apparently the tank is not empty. I come back to find gas pouring through the carburetor. Obviously the float valve is not seating. So we'll turn the gas off and do a quick try at uh, starting it. Seat's going to be covered in dust. Cat hair. Uh, now, we won't know whether it needs choke. 
or not. I'll try without. Okay, we just lost contact. Yeah, that cable there I'm not happy with. All right, attempt number two. Started the old mercury a lot better than that. Hmm. All right. Sounded a little bit hopeful there briefly, but okay. Tried the old trick of putting a washer underneath the nut. Get a little more tension on the battery bolt. I guess before I climb up there, yeah, we got contact. Yeah. Well, the sound is a little hopeful there. Maybe I'll risk turning the gas on. These can take a lot of gas before they're actually flooded. Updraft carburetor. Forty did start eventually and ran, but not really well. Uh, it sort of sounded like it was running on choke, which in fact it was running really rich because the uh, float valve uh, apparently is not sealing off and it's allowing way too much gas into the carburetor. So I guess I'm going to have to pull that apart and uh, clean it up. Hopefully, get it in better shape for running. I had sort of considered running it on the hammer mill for this next load of chop I gotta do, but I'm thinking that's not gonna happen now. Anyway, end the video, so leave a like or a comment, and be watching for the next one on the Rishti 6 channel.